Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Me? I am both hail and hearty. Thanks for asking. Our topic today, email signatures. Think about how many emails you send each and every day. And down there at the bottom of each one of those emails, like old trusty, is your signature. But what does it contain? It sometimes contains your picture, your business name, a little bit of contact information, but it is oh, so boring. It's not dynamic. It doesn't really talk to what's happening in your life at that particular moment. And it probably looks fairly plain. Well, you can change all of that. Let's take a look at why stamp together. It might just change how you look at email signatures for all time to come. Before we take a look at Y Stamp, a quick thank you to all of our Patreon supporters, those of you who have decided to support Dotto Tech. Uh, Patreon is crowdfunding for content creators such as, as, as us, and it allows us to concentrate on creating content instead of going out and bringing on commercial sponsors for our channel. Instead, our channel is supported by the viewers, by the people who, who subscribe to us, and we appreciate your support greatly. If you want to consider supporting us, we encourage you to visit our Patreon page, take a look at what we have to offer, and decide whether or not it's something that you want to participate in. But regardless, thanks for being here today, and I know you are going to be glad that you're here today, because Wise Stamp is a pretty cool app, or, or service. It allows us to create really nice dynamic email signatures. Now you can do that to make things prettier. You can do that to increase your marketing, to increase your communications. There's lots of different ways that you can use a, a tool like Y stamp. I'm going to walk you through some of the, some of the tools right away. Now, when you purchase Y stamp, I think it costs me about $37 a year for the full commercial version, which is what I have. There's a free version. I'm not exactly sure the limitations they will tell you at the website, but I've had the commercial version for a couple of years and it installs in my Chrome browser right here. So it's available when I'm in Gmail, it will install signatures in all the main email programs. So you don't have to worry from that point of view. So when you go in and click edit Y stamp, that brings up the Y stamp editor, which basically will allow us to create really fancy looking new signatures. Uh, for our emails and you can do multiple signatures that you can choose so that you can have them attached to certain email accounts or you can just choose certain signatures when you're sending to certain people. There might be some people you want to send more of a marketing message and some people you want to send more of a subtle message to. So this gives you options around all of those things. But I'm just going to create a quick demo uh, signature right now for us to work with so you can see the process. Uh, with Y stamp and what it does is first of all you fill in all of your signature details and you put in your name and your web address and your email address and all of that is there you can include an image or upload an image which will be added to your signature and then you can choose from one of their pre-done templates or you could create your own but they've got a lot of different templates of uh, how you might want your signature look I like this one right here right now I'm feeling I'm feeling compartmentalized I think a compartmentalization of my signature might be in order for my new signature. So we choose that and then we can save it. And that brings us then into the real meat and potatoes of the wise stamp editor. Now what we've got here in the top is we've got a full WYSIWYG HTML editor. So if we want to add additional graphics, if we want to import a banner, if we want to do anything unique right within here, we have the opportunity to do that. So any graphics that you create in Photoshop or anywhere else, you can save it as a JPEG or a file and you can bring it in. In the past, I've, I've put little banners down at the bottom promoting my email courses, things like that. You can put all of those in and of course you can create links to them because this is a full HTML editor. So anything you put in here, you can create links outside of your email too. But the magic of Y stamp is this part down here at the very bottom where it will automatically integrate things like your social networks, different apps, instant messaging, and allow you to go in and create uh, other design elements. But let's just walk you through some of the apps and some of the icons that you can incorporate for the most part in your email. You probably would like to have your, uh, a Facebook, your Facebook link, maybe your Twitter link or your LinkedIn connection. So all you do is you can just go in and you can just basically type in your homepage or your, your Facebook, your Facebook fan page or your Facebook homepage, your Twitter account information. You could type that all in here. So let me just put that in really quickly. And I'll do the Twitter account as well. Once I've done that, I can save these. And the cool thing is you can preview your signature at any time. It shows you how it's going to look in an email. And there's those social media icons displayed nice and cleanly right there. So I've got this nice, 
new uh, graphic, this nice new signature at the bottom, along with my social media icons. Now that alone is fairly exciting, but nowhere near as exciting as when we click on this email app. So these email apps here allow us to create dynamic, ongoing integration with what's happening in our social media world. In other words, instead of having a static signature, you can actually be posting, uh, actually including in your signature, your latest Facebook posts, which I probably wouldn't decide to do, but you might want to do, or your latest Pinterest pins. I tell you what I would consider doing is this one right here, which is adding my, where is it? Where is it? Give it to me, show it to me. Featured social business, oh, there it is, social. YouTube videos, add, my YouTube app. So I'm gonna add my latest two videos. I put in my YouTube account name. This, this blew me away when I saw it. I can choose to have it in the footer or in the sidebar. Let's put it in the sidebar and let's add it. Now, what it's gonna do now is it's going to put YouTube videos in the sidebar. When I save this and we preview the signature, are you ready for some signature magic? Prepare to say, wow. That's what my signature is going to look like if I send it to this as an email. My latest videos in the sidebar of my email that I send out to you. Can you say wow? Now, in some cases, this might be a little oversharing. It might be a little too love me for everybody. Look, like, please look at my videos. Please follow my posts. Uh, it might be just a little bit too much for, for normal email communication. But for marketing communications and for some other aspects, it might just it, it might just be a terrific way to expand the reach and the impact of your brand and certainly to personalize each email with some additional dynamic content. It's going to be up to you to choose if it works for you. But for me, I just love the, I just love the fact that I could actually do this. I hope that you've found this video today to be useful. If you have, please consider joining our community in one way or another. There's three ways that you can join us quite easily. First, subscribe to this channel. Uh, that way you will know about these videos as soon as they're published. Secondly, sign up for our newsletter. Beyond uh, a weekly uh, digest of all of our activities here on Dotto Tech, you will also get first notice of upcoming webinars and different courses and tutorials that we offer. And some of them get sold out, so uh, you want to know, <laughs> sold out. Some of them get fully subscribed. I don't charge for any of them, uh, but you want to know about them early to make sure that you, can reg that you can reserve your place. And finally, if you are so inclined, please consider becoming one of our Patreon supporters. As I mentioned off the top of this video, Dotto Tech is supported by you, our viewers, and we appreciate that support. You can find out more information on that by visiting our Patreon page. I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.